Hello Aries and welcome to my channel and as you can see we've already pulled out quite a few cards because here I was sitting here doing your reading then I realised it had stopped recording so let's pull some of these cards back and let's start all over again very frustrating but the first card out for you Aries is strength there is something going on around you at the moment where you feel that you need strength you're pulling on your strength the next card out, the Knight of Wands. He's coming in here in this situation. Somebody around you, okay? A younger person. They can be sporty. It can be to do with things starting, finishing, plans changing. But also can indicate jealousy. So I feel around you at the moment, Aries, is a younger person. Jealous. Coming in there. Jumping around, stirring things up. Definitely stirring it up because your next card out is the Tower card. When that card comes out, Aries, it shows your foundations being rocked. Something you thought was secure, was stable, is now being rocked. But we've got that star card out there and that star card is reminding you, look at the star, okay? Don't forget you're a spiritual being and the spirit world around you to guide you. Don't forget to ask out. Don't forget to say, you know, spirit, please help me. Talk about your situation. Tell them what you want. Remember, you want the best outcome for yourself. You want to be guided. Get them to show you some signs. They can't tell us what to do. We have free will. But you are being guided, the spirit world are around you and they're reminding you not to forget to ask them for help. We pulled another card from another pack to clarify the situation and look what we've got, the Six of Swords. Look at her. She's in that boat. She's actually got a little backpack there. I don't know if you can see it. And it's almost like you feel that you're in a situation where other people are guiding it. Other people are just pulling you along and there's nothing you can do but just sit there and go along for the ride. You're being pulled in directions that you're not sort of in control of at the moment. These other people are. So Aries, you almost feel as well that at the moment you could just stay there, just let them get on with it. You almost feel that you want a, a few moments to just drift just drift while this is going on, while things are being sorted. But you don't need to worry about it for too long, Aries, because your next card out here, justice. So you will get justice, okay? You will. Justice is coming. This person causing trouble could be at work, because this is a Knight of Wands card. And ones are to do with work. Ones are to do with creativity. So this could be something that you've created, an idea that somebody's trying to cause trouble with. So some sort of idea could be work for some people. Remember, these are general readings and they resonate with people in different ways. But there is definitely a, something going on at the moment linked to jealousy, linked to a younger person. And it's pulling on all your strength. You feel that your foundations are being rocked. But I do feel justice is coming in for you. Balance. For some of you, this could even be a court case. You've got to take things further. Well, let's look at the next few cards that came out for you, Aries. A new beginning. A new offer linked to money. Okay? So if this is a job, are you changing jobs? Or will your job change, you know, within where you are? Will it be some sort of promotion? Will it be some sort of change if you're self-employed? Perhaps a person causing the jealousy will get a new job. We've got that Ten of Swords there, but that's you done. Ten's a completion. So when this card comes out, it shows the end of a cycle. So you are going to be done with this this month. This problem is ending this month, I feel, for you, because this Ten of Swords has come out. And remember, swords are external forces. So what's going on around you at the moment is external forces, but you are done with it this month. You're done with those swords in your back. You're not arguing anymore. You're just laying down and saying, do you know what? I'm done with it. This is ending, okay? It's ending this month. And it's ending 
because you've got this new beginning. It's ending because justice is stepping in. Then you have a decision to make, Aries, okay? But let's just ask this other pack. What is this justice? What's going to happen to turn the situation around? What's going to happen to create this conclusion? The Ace of Cups. Again, a new beginning. The Ace of Cups is new emotions. This could be you seeing things differently. This could be you reacting differently, changing the way you deal with it, or just deciding that they're absolutely not going to get to you. They can say and do what they want, and you're just putting up a barrier or wall, and you're just completely ignoring it, and that's going to wind them up even more, let's face it, when they don't get the reaction that they want. This is you, the Ace of Cups, creating new emotions, creating a new start. You're deciding that you are going to deal with this so differently and you are loving yourself Aries look at that love heart in there okay don't let this person make you feel like rubbish do you know what I mean don't make them make you feel down and that's perhaps what you're going to do you're going to pull on this strength and you're going to say I'm not letting this affect me you know I'm a decent person I deserve to be loved I don't deserve this and once you get in that mindset that you don't deserve it, if you don't deserve it, then you're not going to let it get into your energy. You're not going to let it affect you. And once you do that, once you pull on that inner strength and become this person that they cannot penetrate, that they cannot get to, you then can step back from the situation, you can be done with it, and then you can make a decision on what you're going to do. So ultimately, I feel that you will create the justice, you will create the balance through changing your thoughts, changing your feelings, stepping back from it almost, becoming an observer, so then you can see more clearly and then you can make this decision. And again, interestingly, this decision is the two of ones. Again, linked to this situation, we said the jealousy was in the ones card, work, creativity. So you will be making a new decision, but the decision will be yours, Aries, okay? So whilst at the moment, this other person feels almost in control, these external forces feel like they're leading you. I feel in the second half of March, you are going to take control of this situation. You will be leading yourself. You will be leading the way and you'll be making any decisions about yourself, about your future. These cards are Ask Your Guide. We'll pull one of those and then we're going to pull a Guardian Angel card and a couple of them relationship cards. So tell us more about this situation for Aries. Celebrating. You will be celebrating eventually, Aries, okay? You will win this situation, I feel, definitely. You will be gaining justice. You will be in full control. So whilst at the moment you feel that your foundations are being rocked, you will be celebrating by the end of the month. You will win this situation. The outcome will go in your favour, I do definitely feel. So let's have a look at your guardian angel message. Remember, this person is jealous. And you've got the guardian of action. It's time for you to step up and be the leader. The natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. Aries, that is you, okay? You are a natural born leader. At the moment, you're being led. You're in the boat being led. Someone is pulling your strings. So turn it back around, Aries, and become the born natural leader that you are. You have charisma. People just naturally follow you. You have that charisma about you. So don't allow yourself to be pulled. Don't allow this negative energy in okay create that brick wall create that block stop it now don't be pulled anymore by external forces be the leader aries okay 
you are a natural leader and you do have that natural charisma. You just need to take control. You may need a few moments. You may need to ask your guides to help you. The best way to guide you in this situation, it could just be at the moment, you're not quite sure how to play this, but you will. It will come to you. You will be guided. You will do the right thing because we do have that justice card. And we do have that celebration card. And we do have cards which insinuate that you will do things the right way, Aries. And you will come out of this celebrate. And you will come out of this, the leader. You will come out of this with a new start. Okay, so regarding love and relationships, because it looks like this situation around you at the moment is to do with work, is to do with creativity and I feel it's creating a confusion around you because looking at these two cards which has come out of you for love and um, relationships you've got attraction there that you're attracting people to you but then you've got unrequited love that you feel that there's not enough attraction in chemistry so at the moment I feel you feel very confused because of everything that's going on around you in your in your life it can be creating confusion in your relationship so just for those of you in a relationship try to leave the problems at the door when you come home okay because perhaps at the moment your partner's trying to come to you trying to show you love trying you know they're being attracted to you but you, you're not reacting because you've got your head in all this other stuff okay so for those of you in a relationship don't push away love when it's attracted to you, when someone's offering you love, accept it. Remember, you had that Ace of Cup cards there. We, you know, I said, remember, you're lovable, be loved. Don't push everybody away. Not everybody is the bad person. And for those of you single, again, it could be that someone's trying to come to you. Someone's trying to bring something to you. It may not feel right, but you could still have a friendship. Or you could still just see how things go. But don't push it away straight away because there could be something there. You know, allow love to come in, allow yourself to be loved, Aries. Good luck with the month. I do hope you sort this out. Don't forget to ask for guidance, okay? Don't forget to ask. You don't have to say it out loud. You can say it in your mind. The spirit world are around you. You deserve love. You deserve guidance. Don't forget to ask for it. Justice is coming for you, Aries. Thank you for watching.